Yo, what's up, Thrill Seekers? Back at it again. And today we have something different. Uh, we got the Skyhawk V2 off of Banggood. It's a 940 millimeter plane and it has the A tail. Uh, we may try to run it as an A tail, but I'm thinking that we're going to run it as a V tail setup. So we'll have a rudder since there's two individual servos and it's basically an upside down V. So I think that would be pretty sick. Uh, this was the plug and play. It came with the floats, it came with the motor, it came with the servos. Everything came for 117 bucks. I ended up ordering a second one, so I'm going to have another one on the way. Uh, but without all that, let's go ahead and do the unboxing video. So I had already opened this previously just to check everything out, but we'll walk through the steps with you here. We got the carbon spars in a baggie. And we got our two wing halves. I mean, it's a pretty decent sized wing here. Go ahead and open these up. Get these out. And uh, yeah, it feels pretty sturdy. You already got your servos on here. So yeah, already came with the servos already in and wired up. You can see it has the positioning for uh, if you want to do a twin motor, but we're going to run it as a single motor. We have the T1 Ranger that's a twin motor, and I love that plane, but when I had my uh, Nano uh, Sky Hunter, which is basically what this is, a bigger version of that, uh, I liked running that as a pusher. It was really efficient. So here's your two wings. They're pretty much gonna join up uh, together, you know, and they'll mount on top of the body of the plane here. So we'll go ahead and get our cardboard out. And here's the body. So it comes with a steerable nose gear and it looks like they already glued on areas for you to mount your uh, your wheels. So, you know, you can choose, I'm probably gonna mount the wheels on the back, the furthest back, and then have my nose wheel on there. But you'll see, this is how, let me go ahead and fit the wings on here and yeah for this price a hundred less than 120 bucks this is a highly recommended plane for you get everything for less than 120 bucks as you can see the motor is already on here I don't know the size motor that it is I'll have to look up the specs and we'll put that on there but you got the single motor already installed all you have to do is put your two um, carbon spars in. Uh, I mean, if you wanted to, you could probably run this as a Delta, which we may look into seeing. You could run this as a Delta and just have your motor on the back and basically fly this like a flying wing. So I think that would be sick. Uh, we'll, we'll look into do possibly doing that. I'm not sure. I mean, we're going to have two of them. So here's your floats. It's like these two go on the water side. And then you got one float has an actual rudder <laughs> on it. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is crazy. So you can land and take off in the water with this. Uh, this feels like pretty good foam. I would probably, I don't know, I laminate stuff. So I would probably laminate this just to uh, give it a little bit more rigidity. But I mean, I feel like you could run this as is without having to laminate it. So there's that. And then you get a box. 
of goodies. So you got your VTEL slash ATEL that uh which I get why they made it an A tail, but I mean realistically you they could have made a full H tail, but I you know I don't know. I, they could have made this thing a full H tail, but then it would have been a Sky Hunter, huh? So you got your two servos on there. You can literally run this as a VTEL setup, which I probably will. I like VTELs and uh, I like having a rudder to, uh, you know, FPV rudder is amazing. You got your uh, racing style stickers. You have a, is this an eight inch prop? Yeah, an eight by 3.8 slow fly prop on here, which we're gonna run that. You got some, uh, your hardware, mounting hardware for your, to mount your wings onto it. You got your extenders for your A-tail and you have your wheels we're definitely going to rock the wheels on this one uh but yeah i i'm i'm curious if we can run this as a delta and get this thing balanced without having the tail on this i mean i think this would be sick i mean to me this looks sick just like this have your motor out back probably put your battery towards the middle of this have your fpv on the front and just rip this as a flying wing, you know? I don't know. We'll see.